to create a new governance structure, creating, among others, the office of the Prime Minister, two deputy Prime Ministers, and the leader of official opposition. The bill further proposes that the loser in the State House contest be directly dominate, nominated to Parliament and takes over as leader of official opposition for inclusivity and cure of the winner-take-all politics blamed for division in the country. Our reporter Ben Chumba points out key highlights of the Constitutional Amendment Bill 2020 and the major changes the bill seeks to achieve. The Constitution Amendment Bill 2020 recommends that the executive be comprised of the President, Deputy President, Prime Minister and his two deputies, as well as Cabinet Ministers for different decades. The President will appoint the Cabinet in consultation with the Prime Minister. The Cabinet will be drawn from technocratic as well as Parliament. In the proposed changes, the Prime Minister is said to be appointed by the President from the majority party and will be sworn into office within seven days after the President gets into office. The President will also pick the Deputy Prime Ministers from among the Cabinet Ministers. The Prime Minister shall control and supervise execution of day-to-day -day functions and affairs of the government. The Prime Minister will serve as Chair of Cabinet Subcommittees as well as the Leader of Government Business in Parliament. The bill provides that Prime Minister can be dismissed from office by the President or through a successful motion of no confidence in Parliament. And in response to the winner takes it all mantra that was cited as one of the key causes of bitterly contested elections, the bill proposes to amend Article 107A to reintroduce the office of leader of opposition. The first runners-up in a presidential election will automatically assume the position of the opposition leader in the government. The leader of the opposition will be tasked with keeping the government in check. These, according to BBI proponents, will promote greater inclusivity instead of locking out losers for five years for any position, yet they too command some following. Clause 13 of the Constitution of Kenya Amendment Bill 2020 proposes to amend Article 97 of the Constitution to increase the number of National Assembly elected from constituencies from the current 290 members to 360 members. The import of adding 70 more constituencies is to solve underrepresentation in populous areas. In devolution, the bill recommends retention of the 47 counties and increased allocation to county governments from at least 15% of last audited accounts to between 35% and 50% with resources matching the devolved functions. The bill further recommends that members of county assembly take charge of one development fund and play more prominent oversight role to ensure prudent management of devolved resources. The Constitutional Amendment Bill 2020 further seeks to establish the Office of the Judiciary Ombudsman. This independent officer will be nominated by the President and when approved by Parliament, sit on the Judicial Service Commission and will be tasked with oversighting the courts. The bill had proposed the creation of Health Services Commission, an agency that was to be tasked with making recommendations to the government on the management of healthcare sector. The bill has also sought to compel governor to pick deputies of the opposite sex. The bill further proposes that each of the 47 counties should elect two senators, a man and a woman, meaning that the Senate will have 94 members, each county represented by a woman and a man elected by voters among some of its key highlights.